We're here this morning with our sunfishes, uh, sunfishies Phoenix on the left, Madison on the right. They've just been out playing on the bay for a little bit, a little seven to nine, a few little gusts, a few little white caps popping up here and there. But uh, I want to talk about the uh, Flemish coil this morning. And that's a nice way to store lines if you leave a boat on the dock or I'm going to put them on the deck of your boat just nice. That little coil of bow line there is what we're talking about. The uh, skipper showed me how to uh, coil it. I would have done it a different way. I would have done it the hard way, the Marine Corps way. But what, she, what I thought you would do is you'd take the, the line and you would just start coiling it around and around. And what she showed me... Is how the salty dogs do it. Just take it and start. Turning it under your hand. Using your fingers to hold it down. About the one-handed filming here, but that's how easy it is to do one-handed. So you can get all set up, make your boat look nice when it's just sitting around. We've got the uh, we just give everything a fresh water rinse, which we highly recommend after you go out on salt water. You can let it air dry for a little bit. We're gonna let the sails dry like this for just a couple minutes to get the big bulk of the water out, and then we're gonna take them down and lay them in the yard and let them dry like that a little longer. It's very scenic to have them up and uh, blowing in the breeze like this, but if it lasts for too long, you risk uh, damage to your sails or the wind shifts and starts moving spars around and things get tipped over and broken. So, so we'll take them down after we're done with the video. Uh, Phoenix, it's red, white, and blue boat. It's 1982. One of the differences is where it says AMF Sunfish on the side versus Madison next door has a little small AMF Sunfish sticker outcourt division up by the uh, mast there. A little bit of differences in the factory swivel cam cleat. Here's the one that's on uh, Phoenix. Now, what originally came with the boat, well not originally, 1953 they had nothing. But eventually they put this little, we call it a sheet hook. It's also called an open fair lead. You'll find a boat like that with nothing else and that's a perfectly fine way to have it, especially for folks that are new to uh, sailing. You can uh, hook the sheet under there and clip it and off you go for all kinds of fun. We added these little uh, Velcro hangers. Use my magic finger right there, right there. And right there to help keep the sheet up off of your neck and your cap while you're tacking. And then we do a few different things on some of our boats. We use the uh, piece of 1 8 inch line to secure the sail on this one. We'll eventually get Madison switched over versus the plastic clips. We like using a line bridle in the back, put a little uh, block on it maybe just because it's fun and for no other reason that's the way captain jack did it so that's how we like to do it with a little uh, snap clip Let's talk about some rudder tiller differences here standard uh, pop-up rudder and we cut custom cut this tiller to a length that skipper likes or she can come back here and she can kind of hook a foot over it or just sit on it for a minute while she's tacking and swing around to the other side of the boat and off she goes. So that is not a factory tiller. This uh, tiller over here is another one that we custom cut. And we made it. Oops, let me get that. We 
made it just a little bit shorter and put this uh, Ronstan battle stick on it just a universal joint just to play around with it a little bit see whether we liked it or not and uh, for the most part we come back to liking this tiller without little extra pieces hanging off of it uh, but we're not out uh, racing or trying to sit uh, way far forward and hiking out a bunch of distance whereas other people that want to do that you're going to need a tiller extension so here's the uh, swivel cam cleat on uh, Madison a little bit different but the same functionality of it's got your fair lead that the sheet comes through and you pull it off cleat it off uh, in most cases we don't recommend cleating the sheet on a sailing dinghy but if you got light winds or you need to do something with the hand you know for just a momentary time you know pick a condition that's good cleat it do what you need to do and then get back to actively sailing the boat uh, skipper went out today and uh, she just held the sheet in her hand most of the time and then used the, the sheet hook uh, every now and then. I'm going to talk about one other quick thing on these boats. Uh, there's a vent hole in the cockpit. It's right there. If you find that in your boat and you're like, oh, there's a hole here, I better seal it up. Don't do that. It's uh, These holes, the uh, sun hits them, they heat up, they expand air inside expands and that little air expansion and contraction has got to get away to get in and out of the interior of the hull. If you seal that up it's still going to find a way. It'll inflate until it pops something, maybe a seam along the side or it inflates enough to get a uh, to get a little block uh, loose. And we'll see on the inside some of the interior. The block inside talking about is that little white foam block that's attached to the deck with uh, two-part expanding foam adhesive. So if the hole inflates enough, that can come, become detached and then it starts, that block will float around inside the hole and what you lose is the rigidity of the hole right in here and also underneath so your sailboat could start sounding like an ironing board going across the waves out there it'll still sail and float but it uh, whenever that wave hits and ripples the bottom of that hull it'll just, just slow you down so I played around today one other thing with this little short paddle we made tried uh, securing it under the uh, halyard where it runs from the fair lead back to the cleat and it stayed there most of the time it wasn't uh, really convenient to have it rattling around in the footwell of the cockpit. It's too long to fit back in the cutty. But on uh, it's a pretty good little paddle. It's modeled after a, green, after a Greenland paddle and we just cut it uh, short. So if we get no wind or we got a situation where we got wind coming right down the beach we can kind of use it to get a few quick paddles to get clear of obstructions. So that's uh, some of the notes from this morning on the uh, expedition for our uh, AMF Alcourt Sunfish Boats Madison on the right Phoenix on the left oops finger right in front of the camera and they are getting cleaned up and dried out after the little sail this morning and uh, poor little Smedley sitting quietly behind them a little uh, Alcourt catfish catamaran maybe Smedley gets a quick rinse down since the water hose is out here also so I hope y'all are having a good day and we'll talk to you soon